Which brings me to my next point. You want to create videos that... So to hashtag or not to hashtag, that is the question. Today I'm gonna cover with you the hashtags that you most definitely should be using if you're about to post a video on TikTok. Coming up next. Hey, what's going on? My name is Quincy and I help you with videos on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. So if you want tips and tricks on all these social media platforms, make sure you click like and hit subscribe on this channel. That way you can get more videos just like this. So we all see it, videos going viral on your For You page and we see the hashtags within those videos and we have to wonder, did these hashtags cause the video to go viral? Hashtags do work and I'm gonna cover exactly how you wanna use them here in a little bit. But I do want to say that not all videos even need hashtags. Let me explain to you what I mean. If you have a following base of a thousand or even five or 10,000 and your followers get notifications that you posted a video and they see that video and it's super good or it's something that they gotta share, that itself will push your video to more viewers and on the For You page. However, the reason you want to use hashtags in your video is to make your video searchable for those people who are looking for content on that specific topic, subject, or viral trend. So in these cases, if your video is already going viral, anyone who clicks on that trending hashtag will now discover your video. But if your video has not hit the For You page or has not been pushed out and you have a hashtag on there such as comedy, um, hair, basic hashtags, that is not going to cause your video to go viral. It has to be a current trending hashtag and the hashtag is going to benefit your video even more once your video starts gaining traction, not just in the beginning when you have zero views, likes, or shares and you just happen to use a hashtag. So what types of videos should you be making that you're going to use these hashtags on? One, it would be trending videos, but aside from that, you should be making content that makes you happy, something that you do not mind making end on end, day after day, something that you can create with the least amount of effort. This is going to cause you to have consistency. Consistency is what you need, and this is why I recently just created another channel on TikTok just to see if I can build another channel like I have my current one. And guess what? My consistency on this new channel has proven that consistency matters, hashtags do matter, but they need to be specific to your video. The reason why you do not want to use a bunch of random hashtags in hopes that your video is going to go viral, say I made a funny video on my dog, but in the description, the hashtags said things of, a current trend that had nothing to do with dogs or that particular video. So if they clicked on that trending hashtag about dance because it is one of the current trends going on and they see that that uh, video has nothing to do with that dance trend, they are immediately going to click off of the video which is going to hurt your watch time and your retention rate. So this is why in that example, I want to use uh, hashtag dog, hashtag dogs of TikTok, hashtag funny dogs, hashtag pets. You want to use stuff that's specific to your video. Do not try and fool the algorithm by putting other things in your uh, description that has nothing to do with the video because once again, it will hurt your watch time. Once they click on it, they will see this hashtag that I clicked on has nothing to do with this video and then they are leaving the video which is hurting. A meaning for retention is what keeps them on the video. How long will they stay on the video? How much can you uh, retain them to watch this video rather than them leaving? Now what I have noticed is between Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, the algorithm seems to push for what are shorts and reels and of course TikTok, it seems to push every other video. Meaning, if I create three to five videos, every fifth video just happens to seem to go viral. Not necessarily super viral, but it seems to get a thousand, two thousand, three thousand views. Now why is this? They could be borrowing the technology from each other, but on Facebook and Instagram lately, I have been seeing that every fourth or fifth video that 
that I make, depending on the time that I post it, will go uh, low key viral. If you are looking for the best times to post in your city or state, I have a video for that. Make sure you watch that video. However, sometimes that does not always work. I have posted videos, what I believe are morning, afternoon, and evening, and sometimes the algorithm has to play a part in when you post as well as your subscribers getting notifications. So continue to post at those times, but do not be surprised if your video does not get pushed or go viral. And the reason why I'm saying that is because it's not that all of your videos are garbage and they are worthless and you should stop creating, but just know that some videos will not get pushed if your uh, followers aren't uh, engaged to continue to watch the video for maybe a reason where either it's not funny, the uh, opening is not catchy enough, you haven't given uh, a good hook to cause them to want to stay on and watch till the end. This is some of the reasons why some of your videos, they're high quality, the, the, the editing is awesome, but they're not staying to watch the whole video, um, either because the hashtags have nothing to do with the video or your current follower base, whether it's 1,000, 5,000, or 10,000, are seeing this video, but they're not watching it to its entirety. Which brings me to my next point. You want to create videos that your current followers have been liking. So look in your archive of videos, your past videos, what has the most views? What has the most likes? That tells you what type of content they wanna see. So it's okay to start doing new videos and trying something new, step out on a limb, but you want to create, even if you have 50 followers, how did you get those 50 followers? That means you want to create videos around that same type of content or a variation of. I recently started going after Facebook and I have a video that has went viral and it has over 225,000 views, 10,900 likes, and almost 3,000 shares. Now, I create new videos on different topics, but guess what? I have recently decided to make a spinoff or a video something like the one that has went viral because that's what I can realize that they want to see or uh, like to hear about. However, that video has also caused my other videos to start gaining traction. So once you do have a video that does good, you want to make sure that you immediately start creating other videos after. Don't put out garbage videos, but put out quality content that this this new uh, base of followers may be interested in as well. All right, guys, so that is my tips on hashtags, should you use them or not, and what types of hashtags to use and how it can or may not benefit you. All right, give this video a like. Please comment, let me know what are your thoughts on that. Are you using hashtags? Are they working for you? What types of hashtags are you using? Actually, let me know what your genre is or your niche. What types of videos do you make? All right, and if you want more videos like this, make sure you click the subscribe button. It will greatly help me out and it will also give you more content to watch coming here shortly. All right, see you on the next video.